Hello everyone, Michael here, and welcome to this unboxing of the Pimeroni Piecade Cabinet Kit, which you can buy at autofruit.com if you live in the US, as the Pimeroni guys are in the United Kingdom. The bolt, anyway, they're priced at $239.95. Now, of course, as of this video, Autofruit has five of these, sorry, not five, nine of these kits left so if you're interested in it you might want to think about getting it soon as these things actually do sell relatively fast and in terms of the box there isn't really much to show other than the front which pretty much just shows all the items that are supposed to be um, available in this box so there's not really much to say here if you've seen the the advertisements or the product information for it is the same here and the first thing that we see in this box is pretty much a thank you of buying the product and how and a web address to build the pipe K together along with a checklist that's saying yes these parts are in this kit and immediately looking at this rather thin plastic bin is pretty much the 3.5 millimeter speakers or just simply speakers and the Pi K PCB which is pretty much required if we want all our buttons and the joystick to work which we'll see in a sec. And right next after that, we see the screen mount, which allows us to mount the screen in front, well, pretty much out of our faces. You will see what I'm talking about at the end of the video when everything's all together, but that's the front of the screen. And in this plastic bin is pretty much everything else for putting this thing together, all the hinges, all the nuts and bolts. It also includes all the buttons, an HDMI cable, a micro USB for the PiK PCB, along with two other things that allow you to put the boards together, which you will see in a sec. And that styrofoam actually protected the 8 inch screen and this is the joystick which feels like an actual joystick very it just feels really authentic to me not to mention the clicking sound it makes is very enjoyable and what you see here is actually the screen kit or in this case the screen controller pretty much allows us to control the screen which you're seeing right now it's an 8 inch which by the way you can buy a 12 inch screen from the Pomeroni guys but as of this video it's not available and we have pretty much all the wiring required to plug in the the buttons and the joystick that you saw earlier and this is pretty much the bicade itself all all the sides all all the decorations and everything else that's required so pretty much the outer casing which, by the way, you can add a Raspberry Pi, BeagleBone, or Intel's little thing that you can just attach it right from, from the back, which you'll see in a bit. So, this is everything that there is to see inside the Pi Kate box. And now, we'll go ahead and go straight to pretty much me and my brother putting this thing together. Now, this was actually rather frustrating at the beginning because the instructions don't really include diagrams. And at first we were a little lost as well because during the video it did not have any indication uh, which side these boards needed to be because there was one side that was pretty much had all the words inside of it which was pretty obvious that these were supposed to be um, kind of facing the inside of the arcade cabinet but again everything was black so it was really hard to see but once we managed to get past that 
Everything else was relatively simple. Uh, the only thing that we had issues was was deoxygenating uh, some of the millimeter sized screws as since they bundle everything up into one plastic baggie it gets really um, frustrating a little bit later on when you find out you grabbed the wrong sized um, screw. Now thankfully it is pretty obvious on what size screw that you need for certain pieces and of course I do want to point this out right now that you're gonna need a couple of screws other than just a simple Phillips screwdriver. You're gonna have to find find something to screw the uh, nuts in. Anyway, as you can see, using our Hero 5 GoPro cam, which we recently got for this video, you can see that, <clears throat> that everything has been going quite fine. This is going about three hours worth of footage here. And yeah, it took us a little bit over three hours to put together, but the re end result actually was pretty worth it. So in terms of first impressions, nothing really much to say other than it works. The buttons, however, feel sensitive and don't really feel that authentic compared to the arcades I played in actual arcades. So, but considering the fact that I can just simply order a different set altogether and replace them is quite nice. I may in the future go ahead and upgrade this thing to the 12 inch, but the 8 inch surprisingly works just as fine. But however, uh, to what I have got, this is actually a really great kit and yeah, I will have a review in the coming weeks of my official opinion on this thing, but initially I really like what I see here and I like what I feel. It's just that the buttons are a little bit iffy on my side. So if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.